Hello everybody, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I had a little trouble logging in. It wanted me to turn my camera around, so I had to delete that one really quick. I hope you didn't try to jump on there because it wasn't going to work. Okay, I just, let's see, I want to, there we go. Now I see people coming in. Hi, Julie. Hi, Carol, Maria, Vicki, another Carol. All right, let me get that set up up there. Yvette does not want to be in my video. I know that you just popped the wrong button. Charlene, Sarah, welcome. We had a pretty nice day here in Menasha, Wisconsin. Our weather was pretty nice. Hi, Haley. I'm happy to see you on here. So, I have been sick. Yeah, I've been sick since Friday. I got my hair cut. Yay! And um, right after my hair cut at, I think my hair cut was at 11 a.m. on Friday, I came home and went to bed and slept for seven hours. <laughs> like, ah. hi, Cindy. Yeah, you're not the only one with technical difficulties. Oh, and Ingrid's coming in from St. George, Utah, one of my favorite places. Um, so yeah, I don't know what the deal is. I just, you know, I started with a sore throat and a headache and just feeling crummy. And then I started having a fever and chills and hot and chills and hot. And Oh my gosh, can I just say that when you have the chills, a heated throw blanket, like an electric throw blanket is the bomb. I was in the living room and I just turned that baby on high and snuggled right in. It was awesome. Oh, and Haley's got people saying congratulations. You guys are so sweet. Oh my gosh. That baby and Val, just adorable. She loves her baby brother. And um, she's been doing really, really good with him. She loves to help. So far, she hasn't asked anybody to take him back. <laughs> you know it's coming, right? <laughs> but she has done really well. And at night, when he wakes up, she wakes up too. And when he cries, she cries because she thinks there's something wrong. Um, so it's pretty cute. They took him to the doctor and they had to poke his heel because he was a little jaundiced. So they needed to test his blood. And when he started crying, she started crying. And Haley said her and Jared were both sweating. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. So yeah, so I was sick since Friday. I didn't know if I was going to be on here tonight or not. I wasn't feeling good and then I came in here and worked a little bit trying to design some cards and then I went to bed and slept for about an hour and then I got up and decided to join the the clean people I took a shower <laughs> and that made me feel better so Steve's sick Anna's sick everybody's sick it's just like ugh. Haley Haley and Val and Jaren aren't sick and the worst part is I was over there Friday morning so um that kind of stinks because I'm like oh my gosh if I get all of them sick I'm gonna be just the worst person ever but so far they seem to be fine so yay um I don't really have a John report I haven't seen John I don't know what's happening with John his truck is in the driveway but I'm not sure where John is. So <laughs> Diane says, Haley and Jared make beautiful babies. They do make beautiful babies. She is a good baby cooker. <laughs> That's what we've been saying. She's just a good baby cooker. Yeah, that baby. And he's so chunky. Like he's got those fat little cheeks. You just want to go. <laughs> I know. I love to smooch. Anytime, um, whenever I see Val, I just grab her and all over her cheek, I'm like, nah, 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 nah. and at some point she's going to say, Granny, stop. But so far she hasn't. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if I had COVID. I'm so through with COVID. Like, I just can't even. <laughs> Who knows? I'm, I'm feeling better. I'm not 100%, but I am feeling better. Um, what else? I wanted to tell you guys. If you tried to sign up for the retreat in the last couple of days, I um, had some problems with the 
form saying that it was sold out. If you did that, just let me know and I'll get you the links to be able to do that. Um, I have, I sorted, I sorted all my stuff. That's what I did Thursday. I've got all the product here, $100 worth, pro worth of product go into the um, goodie boxes. So I've got all of that here. I sorted it, found out how much more I had to order. I got my orders in. I did all of that Thursday night. Like I was rocking it. And then, yeah, I went over to Haley and Jared's on Friday morning to babysit. I was watching Val while they took the baby to the doctor because after they did that the first time with Val, they said they're never leaving the house again. <laughs> so I thought I'd alleviate that little stress. So I got a lot of that done. Um, my mom is coming to visit this weekend. She's going to come meet her newest um, great grandbaby. And uh, yeah, what did Jenny just say? No COVID flu bug. Yeah, I, I think it's just the flu too. Um, I've had COVID and that's a whole flipping nightmare. But my mom's coming to visit, so I'm excited about that. So now I need to get all my eggs in a row this week so that I do not feel guilty about just family time. Because I love it when I can be caught up and have all my eggs in a row and relax. I'm sure we're going to go out to eat and we're going to go over to Haley and Jared's house a lot and we're probably going to go shopping. Yay! So that'll be fun. Um, I wanted to tell you guys, I've had a lot of you ask me about this mat that is under my die cutting machine. And every time I see you ask the question, it's after I'm done with my video. So I thought I would put it on my list of things to be reminded of. Um, hang on, because it's really got a lot of bits and pieces on it. I'll just throw them on the floor with everything else. This is the little mat that I keep under my die cutting machine. And what this is, is it's a it's a baking type mat thing from the baking aisle at Walmart. And when we went out to Wyoming, when Dina and I went out to Wyoming to um, stay with Barb, we saw that she was using this. And we were like, whoa, 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 what's that, right? And she goes, oh yeah, it's a, it's a baking thing from Walmart. So when we went shopping, one of our many trips to Walmart, because that is the shopping mecca, of um, Sheridan, Wyoming, Walmart. One of our mini trips to Walmart, Dina and I each bought one of these. So, yay, that's what it is. Go to the baking department, buy like the rolling pin and that kind of stuff at Walmart. It is silicone, it's very sturdy and it's, it's grippy, right? So, you know, your machine can move around, which stinks, but when you put this down, this stays, and now this stays too. Oh, I just wiggled my whole desk. But it's really nice. We really like it. It is, Ginny says, it's a nonstick mat. Well, that's probably a better word for it, Ginny. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you know, sometimes words are hard. <laughs> so anyways, that's what that is. I wanted to make sure everybody knew about that. Um, uh, let's see. I have prizes. So I went out to... Uh, oh, Lori says she was the one, one of the ones that was asking. Yeah, you weren't alone, Lori. Lots of people were. I'm eating candy corn, by the way. I think this is a candy corn that, mm, I want to say Sandra sent me. Thank you. <laughs> I needed a little sugar boost. Um, oh, let's see. Denise said she just bought a pack at Costco. Great for baking cookies. There you go. Okay, Costco, Walmart. But it works really good. I really like, I'm very glad that I have it. Um, so, prize drawings from last week's Facebook Live are from, uh, exclusively from YouTube. And I'm going to tell you why. The darn Facebook deleted my video again from last week. Like, I boosted it, which means I pay money to advertise it and Facebook pushes it out to people that show an interest in stamping. I even paid money to boost it and this is the second time in about a month that they deleted my video. I can't find it any place on my Facebook page. So, I'm not very happy about that. I am um, a little 
miffed with the shenanigans that go on at Facebook. It's a love-hate relationship, I'm not going to lie. And so um, I may be switching over to YouTube Live. And if I do that, what I'll do is I will post a link in here in my Facebook group. You guys always see the, I'm going to be live tonight and then I'm going to be live in 15 minutes. You guys see those, you would click on that. You would click on the link that I would put in that post and it would take you right over to YouTube. Now, um, YouTube, in order to be able to comment on YouTube, you need to be signed in. And making a YouTube account is just as simple as making a Kohl's account, making a Google account. You just go in there and give them your email address and, your pa and, a, and create a password. That's it. So I may be switching over to YouTube Live. I know that other um, Stampin' Up! demonstrators are having great success with that. And I'm, again, I'm very disgusted with Facebook and their shenanigans. And this is the second time they've deleted my um, video. And I don't know where they're going or what they do. Jasmine says, yes, please, to YouTube. Thank you. Um, and especially since I pay them money. <laughs> Like, that's a big deal because if I'm going to use part of my advertising budget on them, how dare you take my video and throw it out the window? So thank goodness, as soon as we're done here tonight, I save that to my computer. I can save the video. I download it to my computer and I upload it to YouTube. And somebody said, why don't you ask for your money back? Well, here's the deal. They only charge my account for the amount of advertising they've used up. Okay, so it got they give you all the stats. It got pushed out to all these people. Um, yeah, and who said Kathy? Kathy Sanford says not too fond of YouTube Live. Why is that, Kathy? Can you tell me? Because um, YouTube Live is pretty much just like this. You go on YouTube and you guys can comment just like you are. And I'm on a live video. So, oh, I like the chat better in Facebook. Well, there's a chat in YouTube also. So just know that. I That would be good. Hi, Sarah New. I'm so happy to see you here. So they're not going to give me any money back because they only spent as much money as they pushed the video out. They have all the stats and whatever. But anyways, I'm going to... Stop whining about it and get to our prices. Um, Melanie asked if I was on YouTube, and she's on YouTube. So no, Melanie, I am not. I am on Facebook tonight. Uh, what does it say? What does it say? Jean just said, hang on. That is odd, Kelly, because I just checked and I have your video from last week here on Facebook. Are you serious? Can you send me a screenshot of that, like in an instant message, Jean? Because I cannot find it any place and it's gone. And even when I click on my ad and then I can click on what the ad is, nothing comes up. It's dead. It's just nothing. So anyways, um, winners. I have winners from YouTube. I did... Um, for commenting last week, I have Gwen Ball. You are going to be the awesome recipient of some black mini and regular size combo pack of dimensionals. I love these. So, uh, but Gwen, I believe I'm going to need your address. So if you could email me your address or instant message me on Facebook. My email address is Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y at astampabove.com. So I'm just watching all of your messages come in. Um, I'm not real up on YouTube Lives. I do them for the Stamp Happy Academy and also our retreats, but I've always been more comfortable on Facebook just because I know what I'm doing. Yes, Cynthia just asked if um, we will be on YouTube for the uh, retreat. Yes, we will. Facebook has such control. I know right? Joanne, that's, I just, uh, uh, yeah, that's why I have a lot of issues. Okay, so that was for commenting, and then for sharing my video on YouTube, I've got Yvonne Betzel. Yay, Yvonne! I've got Expressions and in Ink Ephemera Pack. This is a beautiful little pack. 
It's so fun to make cards and use these elements in here. And Yvonne, I do, of course, have your address. So just know that this will be on its way to you. You guys watch for some happy mail. And last but not least, for placing an order within the last week, um, I am going to be sending out a gorgeous scrape and an early espresso brand new ink pads plus a whole pack of our basic white envelopes. These are going to Mary Swanson. Mary, I have your address, don't worry. You're gonna get some happy mail coming your way too. So congratulations to all our winners. Let me make sure that I don't lose that someplace and eat another piece of candy corn. Huh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's see, I have so much mail. Somebody said they love my shirt, thank you very much. I actually got this in Greece. I know, right? When we were there on the Stampin' Up! Incentive trip, I bought this in a boutique, and oh, I love it too. It's very, very lightweight, which is kind of weird because it's winter, right? But I just grabbed something out of my closet that I haven't worn in a while, and I put it on, and I'm like, oh, it makes me look kind of skinny too, which is really helpful right now. <laughs> oh, look at my bag of mail. Like, whoa, right? We're not gonna do it all tonight, but I have quite a bit of mail. Um, the other thing that I wanted to share with you guys is I am going to be um, distributing or selling a sticky kit, a whole sticky kit. This is a whole adhesive kit. So we're gonna turn the camera around so I can show you what's in here and tell you all about it. I do not have my advertising up for the sticky kit yet, um, which means I need to go in and do a bunch of coding on my website and create a form and a PayPal and all of the things. But I will get that up. I will share it with you here on Facebook. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. But I am going to flip my camera around. Let's see, let me make sure that I got through everything. Oh, don't forget, I'm now doing free downloads. So um, maybe I'll flip my camera around and I'll show you how to find those on my blog. How's that sound? Okay, let's flip. We're, we're ready, right? We're ready to flip. Um, here we go. Hope I don't mess anything up. Okay like to see how how much room I have <laughs> and get things straight so this is my new sticky kit and these come in various colors okay and you don't get to pick which color you get but they're all very pretty and colorful and fun and happy in the sticky kit is all things adhesive so you're going to get mini dimensionals large or regular size dimensionals, the black dimensional combo pack, which has the, the regular size and the mini black dimensionals, the liquid glue, a stamp and seal plus and a stamp and seal. So I'm, I'm sorry, a stamp and seal plus and a stamp and seal plus refill. So you get both of those. You're gonna get a roll of tear and tape a box of mini glue dots, and then a couple little extra things thrown in. This is a gum eraser that erases adhesive, and this is a sand eraser. If you happen to get a little ink smudge on your card, and you know that always happens when your card is all done, right? You have a little bit on your finger, and you get it on your finger. You can use the sand eraser, and most often you can get that little smudge off of there. So all of this stuff comes um, in this cute little bag. And if you go to retreats, in-person events, or crops, if you're a scrapbooker, this is a fantastic little kit to just be able to grab it and take along. All of the stuff in here, including shipping and tax, is $69. So watch on my on my blog, I will be um, sharing some information. There'll be links where you can order these. And I'll also share that on Facebook. But who doesn't want to have all the latest and greatest adhesive, right? Oh, thank you so much, Kathy. says, fantastic kit. Love this. 
Yvette says, love this. Thank you so much, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my cute little laptop. And I am going to show you. Uh, let's see. What was I going to show you? See how easily I forget? I was going to show you, first of all, online classes. This is where all my online classes are. We're going to be using um, the Flowering Water, I'm sorry, Flowering Rain Boots tonight, which is my newest kit class, and also the Waves of the Ocean. We almost were going to make one card tonight, but I actually pulled it together and have another one ready because I didn't think I was going to be able to design anything. I was feeling pretty crummy, but here's the Flowering Rain Boots kit. And you would just click here to register. You're also going to find the spring retreat. And again, you just look for the click here to register. And then we have the Waves of the Ocean online class. And the Waves of the Ocean, you get the entire collection plus white 3 8 inch organdy ribbon with nine cards, pre-cut card stock to make nine cards video tutorials for each one. Holy cow. Um, the product alone is like $109 with tax and shipping, but you will get pretty much the online class for free when you do option number one with the waves of the ocean. And that's this pretty um, collection. Now this is the class that I do with Barb and Dina. So if you've ordered this from them, please don't order it from me too. The other thing I wanted to show you is to keep up to date on my blog. Right over here, you can enter your email address and you can subscribe to my blog. So anytime I add something new, you will get an email right in your email inbox. And I see, I don't know who it was, but somebody said, you're going to show us the free downloads. Thank you so much. Like you guys know that my memory is horrid. Yeah, this is my video from last week. So thank goodness I still had that. Um, here's the, here's what you're looking for on my blog. You make it when you click here, you're going to get a free download that you can save to your device or you can print it out. And this is the download. And of course up here you have plus and minuses. You can make this bigger so you can just read it on your screen or you can click over here and you can download it to your device, but these work really good. Hang on, I'm trying to find out. I know I've got a big, big um, spotlight in my screen here, but all of these, this is the whole ingredient list for all the products I use to make this. And if you click on any of them, it's gonna take you right to my store. Okay, shopping with Kelly Atchison. So, and I clicked on the on the die cutting machine and it took me right there. So when you click on this, that's where you find your downloads. Now there's gonna be two downloads because we also made these baby cards last week. So here's another one. When you click on that, it's gonna open up the download for that. And again, I'm just clicking the plus or the minus key up here to make that bigger so I can read it or you can print it, or you can save it. There's also a link to the video. So this is a neat thing that I started doing recently. I just wanna make sure that everybody knows about the free download, because those apparently are pretty hot commodity. So I'm glad that I'm able to offer that to you. But this is my blog, and you're always gonna find that a stamp above. You can just type in a stampabove.com and you'll find my blog. Okay. Thank you for reminding me what I was going to show you because honestly, I did not remember. My brain goes, whoo, can't remember nothing. All right, we are going to get started on our first card. Hey, wait a minute. This is my keyboard thing. I didn't even notice it wasn't on there. Let me get that back on there before I mess things up. First off. My kit class for the month of March, excuse me, is flowering rain boots. Oh my gosh, the minute I saw this, I knew this was a must have for me. I love 
all the images in here. I love the little watering can. I love the pot with the tulips and the daisies and the rain boots. The fonts in here are gorgeous. This was a definitely a must have for me. So I decided to design a kit for it. Now, in the kit, you are going to get a pack of the Flowering Fields Designer Series paper. I'm gonna be using this paper with all the cards in the kit. Now there's four different designs and you get to make two of each for a total of eight cards. I'm also going to be using the Heart and Home Doilies. These are really nice. You get three different colors, basic gray, cinnamon cider, and misty moonlight. The backs of them are white and you can make these any color you want. So that is very, very cool. I think there's 20 in here. No, 30, 30 doilies. So you get a whole pack of doilies. You're also going to get, oh, you have the option to add on the bundle, okay? But if you already have it, don't worry, you can just get the kit. You're also going to get the brushed brass butterflies. These are really fun and they're completely flat, so I love that about them. Plus some um, baker's twine, I'm sorry, linen thread. And you're also going to get eight envelopes to go with your kit. So that's a lot of stuff. This kit is $53.50. You can add on the bundle for an additional $59, and that includes tax and shipping. So we're going to have a lot of fun with that. And I've just been, um, I was, that's what I was supposed to be doing all weekend was designing the cards for that. But of course, I was laying around being sick. So I will be working on that in the next couple days. Um, oh, and let me tell you that this kit is going to be ready to ship out. This is a pre-order, so this kit will be ready to ship, ship out the week of March 27th. I have all the product here. I just have to get the cards designed and all the, all the cardstock cut and packaged for you. So that'll be ready to go the last week in March, which is only um, two weeks away. Okay, I've got all the stamps that I'm using for my first card here, and I've got a fun fold. Um, I'm going to be using Mossy Meadow, Cinnamon Cider, Memento Black Ink, Basic Gray, and Rich Razzleberry. And while I'm here, this is my current host code. When you place an order in my online store, when you click on your shopping cart or shopping bag, um, when you go to that screen at the very top right, it's going to ask you, it says if you have a host code, you can put it in there. If your order is under $150, you use this code. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have those. Um, Stampin' Up! does not carry the erasers in the sticky, the sticky kit. Okay, those are something extra that I'm adding in that I think every stamper should have. So, yeah, great question. Thank you for asking that. Okay, here comes, here's my little dimension so I can tell you guys what's going on. Let me get all my bits and pieces out here and I might have to blow my nose because it seems like it wants to run now that I'm talking to you guys, of course. <laughs> right? Like. Right. Of course, that's going to happen. Here comes all our bits and pieces. So we've got our envelope here. I've got a piece of rich razzleberry. This is five and a half by seven and a half. And get all this stuff. I took this particular pattern of designer series paper, and it is. No, 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 no. It's the green one with the purple. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> which one is it? It's this one right here. So this paper, let me show that to you because that's rather confusing. I will show you this entire sheet. Oh, this one doesn't open yet, hang on. So, so pretty. So here's the paper that I took it from. And part of it's blue, part of it's green. 
but here's the front of it and it kind of goes out in all kinds of patterns. Let's get this one. There we go. This is what the whole thing looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, is it so pretty? And I really think that you should see all of these because they are truly gorgeous. Here's the back, here's the front. We've got, I love this one too. Here's the front and here's the back. Isn't that pretty? And then how about this, these fun polka dots and the back. And let's see, I have one more here. Yep, here's the green. I love how this paper is like, I don't know, variegated. It's water colored anyways. I don't know what you'd call it. And here's rows of tulips. Doesn't that just remind you of Holland? That's the way I feel. And then this one, so, so pretty. All of these are just magically delicious. <laughs> so I wanted you to actually see the whole pattern on these. Let me set this aside. And so this piece of designer paper is three by five and a quarter. And then I chose this paper to coordinate with it. And this piece is two and a half and just a smidge smaller than three and three eighths. And then I've got my four by five and a quarter basic white for the inside. This is just a scrap. I've got a piece of uh, Blackberry Bliss, which I love with Rich Razzleberry. I just think that's so elegant looking. The Blackberry Bliss is three and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then we've got this one that is two and five eighths by four. So we have just a little bit of scoring to do. Oh, did I tell you what we're doing here? Cinnamon cider, rich razzleberry, mossy meadow, and um, basic gray with the memento. Okay, I'm gonna bring my paper trimmer in. And we're gonna do just a little bit of scoring. We're gonna score our card base. This is the five and a half by seven and a half. We're gonna score this at four and a quarter. Hi, Sharon Kersey. I got your I opened your package that came today in the mail, girl. <laughs> yeah, so pretty. I'll show you guys when I get to the mail part. Okay, and this is our Blackberry Bliss, and this is the one that's um oh hang on. Uh, four inches long. This is two and five eighths by four. So we're gonna score this at a half an inch. Oh, did you guys see I got my nails done? Yeah, pretty, pretty. One of them was broken. I broke it when I was cleaning that condo in Florida. <laughs> Another reason why I'm not doing that again. <laughs> broke my nail. Oh, you poor baby, Kelly, right? Yeah. Okay, so here's our card base. And here is an element. Of course, this is a fun fold. And I'll show you where I got the idea from. So I have another card to share with you too. So we're just going to fold that down like that. And we can come right in here and grab the liquid glue. I got a brand new bottle here. Woohoo! It's always nice to have a nice full bottle of glue. You're not fighting with it. There we go. That's on that rich razzleberry layer. And then I'm gonna put that right on this front panel of our card. And there's just a teeny weeny weeny margin of that rich razzleberry that's popped out behind the Blackberry Bliss. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I love this. Okay, um, then this little piece right here with the tab that goes in the back, I'm going to put my designer paper right here.
I'm gonna make sure this is centered on here nicely. Okay, now I'm gonna grab tear and tape. I wanted to use an adhesive that was just a little bit stronger for the tab because I don't want that to come apart. So I'm going to put that right here on this piece and we can add this right to our card. I like to use my take your pick tool for just about everything, of course. You guys know this about me if you're if you watch me. If you're new to me, the best tool that I own. I love it. And now I'm gonna fold this back and I am going to center this from top to bottom and add this right to the very, very edge of my card. So my card opens like this. Okay, just like that. Now, let's see, what are we gonna do to the inside? Let's get our cinnamon cider and our little pot. Oh, and I'm gonna bring my scrap in. Now this is my four by five and a quarter, and then this is my scrap. So I'm gonna do this right over here. Isn't that pretty? Look at, it just looks real, doesn't it? I love these images. And then I'm gonna do another one on my scrap with the cinnamon, cinnamon center. <laughs> cinnamon center. <laughs> That's funny. Cinnamon cider. Okay. Am I, uh, oh darn it, I'm out of, <laughs> I'm out of my candy corns. Okay, then we're gonna take our beautiful little watering can and I'm gonna grab that basic gray and on the scrap, I'm going to stamp my watering can. Isn't, look at, look at how gorgeous that is, you guys. <gasps> it's so, so pretty, I love this. And then as long as we're here, I've got the gray out, I'm gonna bring my envelope in and I am going to stamp with the gray, the rain boots. And look at how cool those are. You could do these in any color. They're just so, so real looking. Love them. Okay, here comes our stems. And I'm going to grab my, what is this called? Mossy Meadow. <laughs> Can you guys tell that my brain is like working a little worse than usual? I shouldn't say like, yeah, because you guys know that <laughs> we're always struggling here. <laughs> it's just a little worse than usual. Okay, so um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab a little piece of a post-it note. I've got my little hot pink post-it note here. And I just want these, this one set of foliage. I don't want this one. So I am going to put this right here. And hang on. I am going to put, whoops. <laughs> well, that wasn't very helpful. Put this one right here. Let's see if that's gonna meet up now. I'm gonna move it a little bit. So you guys do whatever you need to do to mask this just a touch. Just like that. Let's see. Yep, that's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna ink that up again. And I'm gonna come right in there. And voila, look at that. Okay, then rich raspberry for our flowers. And these match up perfectly with the stems. And this is my inside layer. Oh my gosh, look how delicious they are, you guys. Aren't they so pretty? And I see that I have just a little smudge right there. Do you, do, can you guys see that little smudge right there? And this is that sand eraser that's in my sticky kit. And you just give it some good pressure and you can get rid of those little smudges. It's gone, so beautiful. Now, if you have adhesive, you let your glue dry, and if you need to get it off your card, you just take this and you pick it up and pull it, pull it, pull it, and it'll get the adhesive right off. So that's what that's all about. Okay, let me move some of these things out of the way. 
we're going to get out our dies. Here, I need to close some of these things before we have some, oops, accidents like that. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're gonna get out our dies. Now there's some really, really cool dies that come with this set like some really neat elements, but one of the dies is the watering can. So here's my scrap, and I'm gonna die cut that. And then we have the pot to die cut our little pot on our scrap. Oh, then we have some other scraps here. I have a black scrap, and we're gonna do this little garden hand rakey thing. I have one of these. I don't know what it's called because I do um, like flowers, so I plant flowers every year. We're going to take this and the little flower packet. We're going to stamp that with the memento on a piece of the designer series paper. So this is the actual paper that we're using on the front of our card. This is the back of it. So we're doing that. And that has a die to cut it out. So we'll cut that out. Um, there's a rain, rain boot die, the stems for the flowers, the actual flowers, the daisies. These are the tulips, these are the daisies. And then this, oh my goodness, look at this. Ah, look how pretty that is. Let me hold this up here like that. Yeah, that's what this die cuts out. It's so intricate and fancy. All right, we're gonna die cut all of these things. And hang on, I just dropped my something down here. I don't know what just fell. Oh, it was my glue cover. No big deal. Okay, so here comes all these little pieces after you die cut them. And uh, this piece, I want the words to go right on that watering can. And it says, live life in full bloom. And I love this saying. And I love it because... I do live my life in full bloom. Like, that's how I go about my life. I want to go places and do things and see things and be part of things. And I absolutely live my life in full bloom. And right now I'm living my life looking for my little rake thing. And here it is. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Look how cute it is. Super duper cute. Okay, so... We are ready to put some of these elements together. Now here comes our watering can and I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. And then I'm going to take my plant and I'm going to put that on a couple dimensionals. Use your take your pick tool to pop those backs off. That works really good. Oh, hang on, my phone is dripping in this ink pad. Okay, here comes our little pot and I'm just gonna set that. This is on dimensionals now, so that gives it kind of a really cool look, right? And then this little guy, I'm like, oh, what am I gonna do with that? Well, let me show you. We're gonna take that and we're going to use a mini glue dot. And I'm gonna take that and put it right, I rolled it up in a log and I put it right on the handle of the little rake thing. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm going to like kind of prop it up just a little bit. See how it's kind of going up onto the pot and I've only got it, uh, the adhesive, the mini glue dot behind the handle. You don't need to worry about the rest of that. It's not going any place. Now, here comes 
our inside layer goes right in here. Oh, love this, love it, love it, love it. Now, what I wanted to do was have something that would catch, whoops, would catch this and keep it closed. And that's where this little seed packet comes in. So what I'm gonna do with that is I'm going to take my paper snips and I'm going to snip an edge off here because I want my dimensionals to be a little longer, not quite as wide. So I'm going to put that on the back of the left side of my seed packet. And then I'm gonna hold my card closed while I pop this on the front of my card with just a little bit of that sticking over the edge so it's my latch. Isn't that cool? What do you guys think? I love, love this bundle. I love the dies. I think the paper goes perfectly with it. I've got some really great ideas for my kit class. So I hope that if you have this bundle, you'll order that kit class because you'll get some really good ideas to go with it. If you don't have the bundle, you can add it on to your kit, but you'll never be disappointed that you put this, brought this into your um, stamping supplies because it is gorgeous. Now I'm taking some of those brushed butterflies and I'm just going to randomly place them around on my layer just to give it that little bit of bling. What do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? I love, oh, <laughs> my ding dongs just fell. Hang on, my light just unclamped from my shelf. There we go, whew, oh, disaster, <laughs> averted. It's okay, everybody's okay. So there we go, there's our cute little latch on our card. Now, I wanted to show you, oh, this is the other one that I made and I used the purple part of the back of this paper in it and I just, I don't know, I just didn't like it as well. So that's when I decided to go with the yellow in the background and I really do like this better. Then I wanted to show you where I got this idea from. So each month my team has a swap for our team meeting. And we have themes for our swaps. And this, this last month, we had our team meeting last week. And it was fun folds. And so this is where I got the idea for this card. This is called a hinge closure. And it was made by my team member, Debbie Vischer. Isn't that pretty? She used the Stitch So Sweetly dies on the front here. And look at that. And the tulip stamp set. Yeah, very pretty. And hers latches with um, ribbon. But I decided to latch mine with the little seed packet. So just a little variation on that, but the same card. Okay, now, hang on just a second. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I went out of the room to blow my nose. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm drowning here. I know I sound really nasally. The other thing that I wanted to do with this, I thought I was done, but I was wrong, is I wanted to add some of the linen thread. And I'm going to do a triple bow. So I've actually wrapped that around my bow jig three times. And then I tie it. There we go. I get so excited that it's like, oh, look at my pretty card. And then I forget like half the stuff I want to do to it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I thought this would look good right up here at the top of that seed packet. Just a little embellishment. Now this linen thread does come with the kit too. The butterflies, the linen thread, the um, 
doilies, as well as eight envelopes and the designer series paper all come with the flowering rain boots kit. So you'll find that on my blog. In the right hand column, you'll see online classes. You can click on that and order one. Next up, let me get this set aside. I've got another card to share with you guys. I think I need that again, so I'm just gonna leave that right there. I am going to put my dies away because, oh, gosh, you know how easy it is to lose one of these and then you've really messed yourself up. I haven't done that in a long time. Knock on wood, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we got that put away. And I'll put that in there and all of these pads. Here's our other card. And now I'll get out the next card. For my next card, we're going to be using the Waves of Inspiration. This is a beautiful, beautiful new collection that is available until May 2nd. We have gorgeous Rhinestone Wave Basic Jewels. This is the online class for March that I do with Barb and Dina. There are nine cards in here, nine different cards. You make one of each. You have the option to add on the entire bundle and get the class and the pre-cut card stock for pretty much basically free. Or you can just get the kit. Now the kit is going to come with the white glittered ribbon, which I can't find right now, but it's here someplace. And the rhinestones as well as the pre-cut card stock for nine cards. That class is $45. If you want all of the stuff with the ribbon, and the pre-cut card suck, it's $109. Okay, I'm gonna bring out, oh, and here's, here's the dies, you guys. These are amazing. You get a couple different label dies in here, as well as the waves and clouds and birds. You also get a die that cuts out the pelican on the post, which is super cool. So here's what I thought. I haven't made this card yet, so this might be a complete flop. We don't know. We're going to give it a whirl, though. I'm going to bring in my cardstock. Hang on just a second. One of the coordinating colors with this paper is Pacific Point. So we're going to, this is five and a half by seven and a half. We're going to score that at four and a quarter. And then we've got a Knight of Navy piece, and this is two and five eighths by four, and we're gonna score that at a half an inch. Okay, easy peasy, right? Oh, by the way, this online class is also a pre-order and it will be coming out the week of the 27th. Also, the, the kit will be in the mail to everybody who orders it the week of the 27th. If you are a Stamp Happy Academy member, the PDF for both of these online classes that I'm talking about will be on the Stamp Happy Academy website. You get that included in your membership. So if you have any questions about that, don't hesitate to let me know. Okay, so we're going to take the gorgeous pelican on the post and we are going to stamp that on a piece of um, basic white, a scrap of basic white. Uh, where's our dies? Right here. So here's our pelican with the posts. And then I'm going to grab the clouds. Oh, there's one cloud. Here's the other one. I'm going to die cut one of those and two of this little cloud. So once we have all of that done, this is what we're going to get. Let me put these back on here. Okay, so 
I think what I'm going to use is crumb cake. And this is the dark crumb cake stamp and blend marker. And I'm just going to come in here. Ooh, that's really dark. We're going to use the light stamp and blend marker. Not the dark. Oh yeah, that's going to be much better. I don't want it to be that dark. I'm going to use the bigger end here. Covers more space. And I'm just going to co color in my posts. And then, let's see. What do we want to do with that bird? Let me think about that a little bit. Um... How about some really pale blue? This is light balmy blue. And I think I'll just do a little bit of light balmy blue. Just around the edge there. Then I'm going to grab my blender. This is the color lifter. And that's going to just pick up a little bit of that blue so it's really, really pale. Just like that. You guys see that? That's what I did. Then I need to grab a little orange here. Is that is it yellow? What do you think? Yellow or orange? Which should I use for his beak? Yellow or orange? Gosh, I don't even know. I'm gonna try so saffron. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. What do you guys think? Should go with orange. Orange. Jean says orange. Here comes orange. It's pretty dark. But that's what we're going to do. It's a done deal. <laughs> There's no turning back now. Okay. So we have that done. Now, uh, oh. This is the, this white layer is the mm, two and a half by a little bit less than three and three eighths layer. And I am going to grab my Pacific Point ink. And this giant wave stamp. And I'm going to ink this puppy up. I told you guys I didn't make this yet, right? This is the first time I'm using this. So, I think I'm gonna ink more of it up. I don't want any, I wanna make sure I get it right. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh, ah, look how beautiful that is. Now, this is Pacific Point ink. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, I see I got a little smudge over here. I didn't do that on purpose, but I could use my sand eraser to get rid of it. But I think that this guy is going to cover it up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Whew. Um, what are we going to do on the inside of our card? Got a white layer here. I think. Oh, did I get that? Oh, here's the words. Yeah, this says. Um, for those of you that may be new, when you get a stamp set, this is our red rubber. When you get a stamp set, you get sticker sheets and you get the rubber. And you pop your stamps out of the rubber and you take the white backing off. Now it's kind of like a window cling, okay? This one I have already popped out, but now I want to put the sticker on. So I go to the other side, I peel off the entire sticker, I put it on my stamp, my block I should say, and it's got a slit in it, the backing does. So you can peel that right off. I like to do it this way because I can see what's going on and I can see where that sticker is so that I can lay my stamp 
right in there and get it on there straight. Now, when you go to take this off, this is super, super sticky. I take my take your pick tool and I stick it under there to peel it up just a little bit, okay? Now, when I have all of these, whoops, when I have all of these done, I take the backing off this whole sheet and I just lay it back in here. It'll stick to the back of the case, just like this. And I will take my stamps and I will stick them right back in place, just like that, okay? So that's that's how I do it. There's People do things different ways, but this is the way that I like it. I can see that there's stamps missing from in here. I can see I don't have all my labels on, but that's how I like to do mine. Okay. So for this, I am going to use the sentiment that says your strength is an inspiration. And I am just going to stamp that with the black ink. And I just wanna see how straight I got this. It's pretty. Okay, so let's see if I can get it stamped on here straight. I see that I'm getting some edges. Do you see that edge right there? When I first try out a stamp, if I end up with edges like that, because I rocked it a little bit, which we tend to do, right? I will give it a haircut. I'm gonna cut that right off so that I don't have that happen again. The only thing you have to make sure when you're doing this is that you keep your scissors straight up and down. You don't wanna angle them either way. You want them to be straight up and down so that your rubber is straight up and down, okay? And I'm gonna trim this a little bit so that I can get a better grasp on where that edge is on my words. Now, these are your stamps. Don't ever do this to somebody else's stamps. <laughs> If you're borrowing somebody's stamps, don't ever trim them like this. But your stamps, you can do what you want. Okay. That looks perfect. And that's just going to help me place this better. Okay. The other thing that I wanted to do is maybe stamp this on the inside too. What do you think? I'm gonna pull this down a little bit more because I don't want it taking up all the room. Oh my goodness, ah, beautiful. Okay, here comes all of our elements. Let's get this out of the way so I don't stick my arm in it. Ruin my shirt from grease, right? Here comes our wave layer. I made this for this little piece right here. And there we go. I'm gonna close. Oh, I probably have to do something on an envelope too. So I'm gonna put that right there. Here comes this layer. This paper is so beautiful. Love it. Did I show you the paper? I don't think I did. There's also some foil. Let me show you that quick. Got it out and laying right here. Look at this blue foil. This is part of the class. You get this if you order the option number one for the online class, you get all of this. By the way, that online class, when you order that option number one, all of this product ships directly to you from Stampin' Up. As soon as you pay the invoice that I send you, I go online and place the order for you and it ships from Stampin' Up to you so that you get that right away. And then the kit will come whenever I say that I'm gonna be getting the kit out in the mail. So just so you know that. Where's my, I don't know where the rest of my paper went. Huh. Hmm. It's here someplace. I said it someplace. Okay, so here comes the rest of our card. I am going to take, Anybody see my tear and tape? I know it's here someplace because we used it. Well, I'll 
just open up a new one. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, it's probably in my other basket. What do you think? It's not. <laughs> well, I have another one here, so don't worry. Good grief. Okay, we're going to put this on here. I love tear and tape. This is so much nicer than sticky strip. Do you guys remember sticky strip with that backing that was always sticking to you and sticking to your scissors and this you just tear right off. Oh, by the way, I think I forgot to mention, if you guys could click on that share button right now, it's someplace on your screen. You can click on share and share this video. I would so appreciate that. If you're watching later on YouTube, you can click on the share button. Also click on subscribe. You definitely wanna be subscribed to my YouTube channel. That way YouTube will send you notifications when I have new videos up. Sounds like a win-win. Oh, isn't that pretty? Okay, now, here's what I thought I'd do. Here's my linen thread. And I thought, wouldn't this be nice to actually wrap it around the, yeah, I'm going to wrap it around. Oh, you know what I could do? I'm trying to think of how am I going to secure this? Let's bring these blue dots back in here. I'm going to grab one of those. And I'm going to put that right on the back here. Then I'm gonna wrap this around. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, just like that. Look at, isn't that cool? Oh, I'm so happy with that. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna get another glue dot and pin that down. There we go. And again, you do get the linen thread in with your cart. So now I've given you a whole other idea to go with this online class that's gonna be coming out. Mm, I love this. Okay, dimensionals. Where did those go? Right here comes my dimensionals. I'm gonna put one here and maybe one right there and then I'll grab my mini dimensionals, and I'll put one maybe right up there on the pelican's head. You guys know here in Wisconsin, it's the weirdest thing. I always thought pelicans were just like in Florida or coastal towns, but we have tons of pelicans on the lake where I go ride my bike to. Like there's pelicans everywhere. It's the craziest thing. Okay, so maybe don't put... <laughs> Don't put a dimensional on the back of the pelican's head because it's gonna stick up over. <laughs> it's gonna stick up over the edge of this. Ah, I love this. Okay, now those clouds. I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do with those, but I'm thinking we can add some dimensionals to them. And I got these other put dimensional right there. And then come on, dimensional right there. Thank you, Jill. I so appreciate that. I think I'm gonna put a cloud right here. That looks good. And this is going to be my latch. I wanted this to be my latch. So I wasn't sure how I was going to do that. Oh, maybe I could do just like that. Okay. Let me see. I could catch. I think that'll work. What do you guys think? Does that work? Ooh, ooh. How about one right here? Yes. Yes, please. <gasps> Look at my latch is right there. Oh, <laughs> okay, hang on. 
slight malfunction. There we go. There's my latch. <laughs> okay, now we have an envelope. Don't we have an envelope someplace? Let me grab one. I'm gonna do something pretty on my envelope. Mm. I think I'll take this big stamp, bring this back in here. Ah, oh, thank you, Judy. Thanks, you guys. It is really pretty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree with you. And I, like I said, I didn't even make this card yet, so I wasn't sure how it would turn out. Yeah, Sarah, Sarah just said she may need this, this whole stamp set. And I, you're welcome. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, dang it, Kelly. Um, I think I'm going to do, gosh, I'm going to try this. I don't want that bottom part on my envelope. Oh, that worked just perfect. Look at that, you guys. Ah! Okay, and then... Let's not forget about these beautiful rhinestone wave basic jewels. And I am going to grab some of those. There's green, there's like Coastal Cabana, there's light blue, there's Pacific Point in here. So many pretty colors. All right, so I think I'm gonna use the dark ones. And I'm just going to do this. And maybe a little baby one. And maybe one more somewhere. Let's see. Yep, I like it. I like it a lot. Ah, oh, this is what I can do when I'm not feeling a hundred percent. I think I did pretty good, huh? <laughs> I do say so myself. Look at that. Oops, there we go. So pretty. So this is the exact same fold as this. Same fold, just a whole different bundle of product. And then where did our card go that Deb Vischer made? Deb Vischer, here it is, right here. Here's her card. Very, very pretty. Hey, you guys. Are you guys ready to see some really pretty mail? I've got a gift, a couple of them, I think, that came, super exciting. You know Sharon Kersey, she's watching tonight. She loves to find uh, kitchen towels that match our colors or stamp sets or something, and she always sends them to me. And I opened up my mail today, and sure enough, there was a beautiful kitchen towel. So let me get all this stuff out of the way. And I will show you, whoops, my mail. Um, if you would like to order the online class, please head over to my blog. You're gonna find everything there for it. You can register, there's two different options. I hope that, oh, that wasn't a die that fell. There's two different options on there for you to get. You can get just the kit if you already have the bundle. Um, you will need everything in option number one, though, to make the kit card. So just know that. But if you already have the bundle, you can just get the kit. And if you need the whole thing, you pretty much get the kit in the online class for free. So it's, it's a pretty cool deal. All right, here comes mail. Holy cow. And I will have free downloads available for um, both of these cards, so you'll be able to print them out. Just know that. That's always fun, right? With pictures and dimensions and even shopping links. And here's my host code. I always appreciate your orders. That's what keeps me in business, keeps these free classes coming to you. So thank you very much for that. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah, here we go. Look at this card that matches the towel. Isn't this the cutest thing ever? I absolutely love this. And Sharon explained that she had um, these cards. She started them in January. They were all for Valentine's Day and then she got COVID. And it kicked her butt pretty good. So she wasn't able to get these out for Valentine's Day, but Sharon, you know that I appreciate these so much and I 
I, I'm not worried about Valentine's Day. I will totally use these. And she also put a little note in here for Steve. She says, Steve, hello, Steve. I know you might have to let Kelly have this very white, very girly kitchen towel because Steve is the reason why we can't have nice towels in our house because he ruins them, right? He has barbecue sauce on his fingers and he puts a little water on his hands and then he wipes his barbecued fingers off on the towels. That's how guys do it and it makes me crazy. So Sharon and I have had this conversation for many times about how Steve is the reason why I can't have nice things. But isn't this just the prettiest thing ever? Sharon, thank you so much. And I am so sorry that you had to go through that darn COVID. I know how brutal it is. But I'm glad that you um, healed up and you were able to finish these because this is just beautiful and I so appreciate it. So thank you so much. Yay. Then, let's see. Oh, we have Sarah. I know Sarah's on here watching tonight. Um, she sent this adorable card to celebrate your big day. And this is a congratulations for our new grandson. This is from Sarah Thibodeau. Sarah, thank you so much. This is just adorable. And then, let's see. I know I have another one here from Sarah, too. Um, this one is for Haley. So she sent a card for Haley, too. So I'll be giving that to her when I see her again. I've got to make sure I set that over there so I don't lose it. This is from Barbara Pike. You guys, look at this. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? I just thought this was the cutest little card. And of course, who has these elephants? I love those little elephants. They are so sweet. We had a punch that went with them. So two baby cards, Sarah and Barbara. Thank you so much. These are just the sweetest. What else do we have here? Oh, here comes another one. This one is from Luba. And this is for Steve and I. Look at this. It is a bridge card, you guys. It has a little clothesline with baby stuff. It's got little baby onesies on each side of it. Little hangers, a bib, a teddy bear, a pacifier. And then even look at the back. Yeah, it says Dawson Thomas Fink, born 3722 at 4.09 p.m., 7 pounds, 14 ounces, 21 and a half inches. <laughs> Congratulations on the birth of Dawson Thomas. Wishing the whole family the very best with love from Luba. Luba, you are the sweetest. This is also, all three of these cards are just, wow, right? So very cool. Oh, here comes another one. This one's for Haley. I think this one's for, yep, this is for Jared, Val, and Haley. And again, I will be dropping this off. Look at those little foots. <gasps> and a little rattle and a baby bottle. Super, super cute. I will be, I got to put this over here in my Haley pile. She's going to love those. Okay, this is from Terry Molinax. Terry, look at this. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I love all this green. Good job. So fun. Um, let's see. Who did I get this from? Uh, on the horizon. I think that came from Wendy. Wendy Morse. Is that right? Wendy, did you send that to me? I know I think I have a card here someplace, but somehow it... Uh, let me look. Hang on. I got this card too. Uh, welcome back to the tundra. I thought you could use, oh, these, these are, hang on. These are, I think, warmers. You put them on your arms. And they're knit. Oh, look, yep, that's it right here. It's got a finger hole in it. Look at that. You can put this on under your sweatshirt to help keep your arms warm. This came from Claudia. Claudia, thank you so much. These are pretty neat. I have not seen these before. I got gray and red to help keep me warm. Because you guys know I'm always cold in here until I have a hot flash, right? Yeah, until I have a hot flash. These are really cool. 
Thank you so much, Claudia. You are the sweetest. And I'm going to set those over there. And then, hang on, i got to keep all this, all this stuff straight. This is from Melanie Foy. <gasps> There's another baby card. Look at how cute it is. Melanie. Bottles and booties, bibs and more, a new baby boy to love and adore. Sending love and hugs. Melanie, you're the sweetest. Thank you so much. And here we go. This is from Kay Nestor. Look at, ah, love this. This is a cute card. Happy mail arrived today. My favorite embellishments, polished dots, door prize from our February team meeting. Thank you for all you do. Look at how cute that is. And that's with that new Horizons paper or on the Horizon paper, right? Um, oh, I have some mail that came back to me too. So what is this? Oh, I, I got to figure that stuff out. Hang on, guys. We got we got more mail. I'm just going to go through a little bit more of it, and then I'm going to call it a night. This is from Jay Shante. I think this was from Wendy. Wendy, are you on here? Did you send me this? Oh, here we go. I was right. It's from Wendy. Look at this beautiful card, you guys. Isn't that so, so pretty? This is part of that ephemera pack that I just gave away as a door prize tonight. Yeah. It says, welcome back to the chilly north, sending an extra stamp set I thought you could use. Yay, thank you so much, Wendy. You are so sweet. And, um, oh, here's Jay's card. Look at that, isn't that pretty? You are so thoughtful. Thank you so much for the ranunculus. I think that's how you say that, romance bundle. I can't wait to play with it. Yay, Jay. Oh, isn't that pretty? That's that tulip paper I used tonight. Here comes Margaret Herrick. And here we go. And she likes to be called Peg. Isn't that pretty? And she's got a nice note in here. I hope you like my card. It is beautiful. That's with that friendly hello. Thank you so much, Peg. You are so sweet. Oh, and here comes Shannon West. Shannon West from Stampin' Up! sent me this card, and I thought this was really neat. Very simple. I love what she did here. Congrats on already earning the Baltic cruise, and in November, you're, you are incredible in joy. It's going to be an awesome trip. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is, Shannon. I know this. This is from my friend Mary Lynn Weller. She lives out in Port Angeles, Washington. Oh, here we go. It says, if you obey all the rules, you miss all the fun. Isn't that cute? I love this. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, I got a lot of Valentine cards because remember, Steve and I were gone in the month of February. So lots of Valentine cards in here to share with you. And I think, I think we're going to call it a night so that I can get everything typed up and loaded on my blog and get this video saved so that Facebook can delete whatever they want because I am on to them. <laughs> this is very cool, isn't it? These baby cards are just the sweetest. I love all of them. And how cute to use the bunnies for a baby, right? Love them. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Joining me. Remember, you'll find those free downloads on my blog. Um, it's going to take me about an hour or who knows how long to get everything typed up, photographed, and um, downloaded and uploaded. But they will be there for sure by tomorrow morning. So make sure you look for that You Make It icon. And you click on that, and that opens up those downloads so you can save them or print them out. Always appreciate your orders. Here's my current host code. If you have any questions or you need some help with something, that's what I'm here for. So you make sure you get in touch with me, okay? Thank you guys so much for the well wishes. I really appreciate it. I am feeling better. I'm just a little worn out. And um, yeah, I'll go to bed early tonight and hit it hard tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> a lot of classes that I need to design cards for. That's what I was supposed to be doing this weekend instead of laying around under a heated blanket. 
Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me. I so appreciate Sunday nights with you. And uh, have yourselves a great week. Bye-bye.